Welcome to the Quantum Scanner, Price Analysis Automation. The Quantum Scanner is a suite of proprietary, automated price analysis tools that interpret the micro and macro scale aspect of price direction, price action, and price phase to simplify market analysis. Bring clarity and artificial intelligence automation to your trading analysis through the Quantum Scanner. You can access the Quantum Scanner at gfulive.com forward slash scanner. Within the Quantum Scanner, blue and red are used to identify either buy opportunities or direction, or red for sell opportunities or the downward direction. In an uptrend, we begin by looking for an upward macro phase arrow. Combined with a blue primary trend line indicates that price is moving primarily in the upward direction. The master strength panel found in the upper right hand corner of the screen indicates both the trend direction for each respective time frame, as well as a specific and proprietary strength score to indicate the relative strength of the trend. Once a trend has been established and indicated by each of these tools, we can identify various structures that can be broken out from utilizing the macro trend line and micro trend line. To identify specific trade entry opportunities, utilize the micro arrows, the micro pullback tool, and the microwave dots which follow and track each of the small pivot points in the market to enhance your ability to see key turning points in the trend. In a downtrend, we look for the red indications. We begin with a downward macro phase arrow. This large triangle indicates that price is now shifting in the downward direction. Combined with a red primary trend line, these each indicate that price is primarily moving in the downward direction. Referring to the master strength panel in the upper right hand corner, we now see that we have lower scores with a red surrounded cell and downward trend arrows for the respective time frames. This assists us to indicate that price overall is headed in the downward direction. Once we have identified that price is moving primarily in the downward direction, we can look for specific structures to be broken out from utilizing the macro trend line and the micro trend line. For specific trade entry opportunities, we can then utilize the micro pullback, the micro arrows, and the microwave dots for specific trade locations. The master strength panel provides a unique and proprietary strength measure that indicates on any asset and time frame the relative strength of the trend. A score of greater than 50 indicates upward strength. A score greater than 60 indicates strong upward strength. A score of 45 to 50 indicates neutral strength, indicating possible consolidation or a retracement. A strength less than 45 indicates downward strength. A score of less than 40 indicates strong downward strength. Each of these scores with their connecting trend directional arrows in the panel help to assist at identifying the overall trend direction from each time frame as well as the relative strength of that trend. In an uptrend, look for the following conditions. A blue phase, where it shows an upward or blue macro phase arrow. Following this arrow, you will see blue candles. Also, look for a blue primary trend line. This indicates that price is significantly above its overall average. Look for a greater than 60 strength score, indicating strong trending conditions. It is not a requirement that the score be greater than 60 at all times, but it is helpful to see it above that level at different times throughout the trend. Specific breakout locations can be identified utilizing the blue macro trend line break, as well as the downward sloping dashed micro trend line break. To identify specific entries, look at the blue dots which stems from the microwave tool, blue triangles, which indicates micro level pullbacks in the market before the trend continues. You can also utilize the quantum oscillator blue zone to identify times where price has pulled back against the trend, indicating that price is optimal for continuations. At times there will be transition zones. This can be identified in an uptrend when you see red phase candlesticks that are colored red but with blue micro arrows on the candlesticks. During this time, it is best not to place trades in either direction. 
In a downtrend, we look for the following conditions. First, a red phase, where we get a red macro phase arrow, indicating that price phase has shifted in the downward directions. This is followed by red candlestick bodies. Next, we look for a red primary trend line. When the primary trend line is red, that indicates that price is moving below its average. To enhance the relative strength of the trend, we want to look for a score less than 40. It does not always have to be below the number 40, but seeing it at that score or below is helpful to indicate a strong trend. Specific breakout locations can be identified looking for downward breakouts below the red macro trend line. We can also look for the upward sloping micro trend line for potential breakouts. Specific entries can be identified utilizing the red dots through the microwave tool. Red triangles, which indicate micro pullbacks in the market, and the quantum oscillator red zone, indicating potential areas and zones where price may respond before it continues in the direction of the trend. Transition zones can be identified if we see that price is in a blue phase, but with red arrows, as you can see on the left side of the chart. We'll now give you several examples of the quantum scanner in action. On this specific example, we look at Bitcoin on the 15 minute time frame chart. Now you can utilize the quantum scanner on any time frame of your choosing, whether you're scalping on the one minute time frame or doing position style trading on the one month time frame, the quantum scanner is very flexible and can accommodate to any asset and any time frame. In this specific example, we see that we are in a blue phase. This is indicated first by our macro phase arrow. Once that arrow appears, that indicates that enough information based upon the data and analytics indicate that prices is moving now in an upward direction. From that point, we look for further confirmation from our primary trend line. If our primary trend line is also blue, that also indicates that price is moving above its average and we know that price, generally speaking, is more likely to move in the upward direction. From there, we can look at our master strength panel and make sure that we see blue scores indicating that the overall strength is in an upward directional bias. We also like to see that the overall trend direction across the timeframes is in relative alignment. Not all timeframes have to be in perfect alignment in order to identify a trade opportunity, but it's helpful to have at least three or more that are close to or proximal to the timeframe that you're trading based upon that are in the same direction. From there, we look for specific locations and trade entry reasons utilizing the additional tools built into the quantum scanner. These include the quantum oscillator. So down here at the bottom of our screen, we have the quantum oscillator. The quantum oscillator has two specific zones, a red zone and a blue zone. When we're in an uptrend, we are looking primarily at the blue zone. So anytime the plot line comes into the blue zone, we then look for a simple confirmation of a blue dot or a blue triangle based upon either the macro, the microwave tool or the micro pullback tool. So for example, as price had transitioned into the upward direction, we can see that several times the quantum oscillator came down into the blue zone in each of these examples here. From there, you simply have to look for either a blue dot to form or a blue triangle. You do not need both at the same time. Either one can serve as a potential trade entry reason. From there, we expect price to then continue in the direction of the trend. Stop losses can be used either based upon structure or a measure of current volatility utilizing the quantum volatility bands. In this next example, we examine the NAS 100 on the one minute time frame chart. We just recently had a new downward macro phase arrow form. Once that arrow forms, we can quickly and concisely confirm a downward directional bias by looking at our primary trend line, which in this case is red. We can also see on the master strength panel that we have scores in the lower 40 range, which indicates strong downward movement. We also see and observe there are four timeframes close and proximal to our M1 timeframe chart, which indicates that we have good alignment that is close to our current timeframe that we're on. From there, we can look for specific trade entry locations and opportunities. Our first opportunity presented itself when our quantum oscillator came into the upper red zone of the oscillator. From that point moving forward, we can then identify 
a potential trade entry by simply waiting for a dot, which occurred in this example on this candlestick right there. So from there, if we were looking for a short-term scalping move here on the one minute time frame chart, we could consider a potential sell at the closure of that candlestick, expecting price to then move in the downward direction. For any other sell, this same process repeats itself. We wait for the oscillator to move into the red zone. Once we get either a red dot or a red triangle, we can then look for further sell opportunities. In this last example, we'll take a look at Walmart on the New York Stock Exchange. We recently experienced a downward macro phase arrow. This indicates that price phase was transitioning from an upward directional bias to a downward directional bias. This is further confirmed for our price direction by looking at our primary trend line, which is red in this case. With strong strength scores in the downward direction, as well as nice alignment across several time frames proximal to our current M1 time frame chart, ultimately we know that there's a better chance that price is likely to go in the downward direction as opposed to upward. From there, we look for specific entry opportunities. In this specific example, we'll show you one of our favorite type of entries that we can utilize with the quantum scanner. In this specific example, when we have a downward directional bias, we then look for price to push into the upper volatility gray band, which you can see here. For buys, we do the opposite. We look for price to go into the lower gray volatility band. So because we are looking for sales in this specific situation, we look for price to move into the upper gray zone, which is the upper band of our volatility tool. And then we simply look for either a red microwave dot or a red triangle, which stems from our micro pullback tool. So in this specific example, price moves into the upper range of our volatility, and then we get a red dot indicating a potential sell. And we can see that once again, price pulls back up against that trend. We get a red dot indicating that price is now transitioning in the downward direction, and we can see what happens from there. Waiting for price to move into the upper range or zone of its volatility range allows for price to have a greater chance of going in the direction of the trend from that point moving forward, following the red dot or the red triangle. Learn more about the Quantum Scanner Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from Brandon Boyd and Dr. Josh Lee.